could I ask you to be face up standing here for a solemn moment? In fact, uh, two solemn moments, if you like, put a bit away. Ladies and gentlemen, the Melbourne boxing fans pay tribute to the family of the late Fijian born New Zealand coach Bridge Sane. Bridge Sane died recently at the age of 75. He ran it with 35 great New Zealand champions. He was known as the father. He went with Koshi Smith, Lawrence Tenyabasa, Alberto Marchon, a great rival of Julian Holland, Sam Acuso, Joseph Pulu, who fought in centre ring here, Lightning Lupe and Davey Moore. 40 years in boxing, born in Fiji, he boxed in the United States of America. He came to the famous Hunters Hill boxing gym in Auckland 35 years ago. He also boxed in Las Vegas, the United States. Tonight we pay tribute to the late Rich Sane, the great New Zealand champion. He also recommended two great fighters, Jimmy Thunder and current champion Callie Meehan, to come across from New Zealand to Australia. Could I have absolute quiet, please, ladies and gentlemen? We turn back the clock to June the 25, 1999, at one Turner Dome, the Hungarian Centre. Murray Thompson, Fighters Factory, first ever professional promotion. Murray expected a crowd of 500. In fact, it was a sellout of two and a half thousand people and one thousand people turned away. The main event was an epic battle between Stephen Marks, boxing tonight, and Lincoln Stewart. In the corner waiting was Stephen Marks that night. He left hospital, he was critically ill, but he came to the corner in a wheelchair and supported Stephen Marks. He was a legendary Mick Cannavan. Sadly, Mick died three weeks later. Tonight we remember the family of Mick Canavan, Diane, children Joanne, Kelly, Mark, Melinda and family, and Murray Thompson, a great friend of Mick Canavan, ringside gym, and his personally his son. Ladies, could I have quiet please? This is a message in memoriam in the Herald Sun from Diane and the family. It said, remembering you is easy. We do it every day. It's the loneliness without you that never goes away. In our hearts forever, your loving wife Diane, children Joanne Kelly, Mark and Melinda. On this night, as we remember three years ago, the great contribution to boxing of Ed Canavan, who trained world champions, Dave Russell, Craig Trotter, and many other great champs, including Stephen Marks. Dave and Memory will tell the bell ten times, and please be outstanding as we remember the contribution and the inspiration of Mick Canavan. Quiet, please. Thank you to every city, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the national anthem of New Zealand and the national anthem of Australia. Please be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen.
boxing, Andrew Campbell. Amiga Williams, John McGovern, taking him in the belt, Damien Newley, head of our medical team, and Dr. John Jurigan stopped the fight at any time during the bout. The 10 foot bus system applies in our men of it. How are they on behalf of Murray Tolson? Congratulations, Murray Show 16, Footlocks, Country Gully, and this Friday night. Friday night for you guys. Here we go. Let's get it on. Ladies and gentlemen, on the site, where legends are made. Footlocks, let's get ready to rumble. Introducing first, in the blue corner on our right, from Samoa originally, now based in Auburn, New Zealand, with Kamar in the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, last night at Daisy's, he scaled 62.90 kilograms in ever boxing. 94 fights, 74 wins. He was the Golden Gloves champion of New Zealand. Returning to Melbourne after fighting Lincoln Stewart at the Dallas Brooks Hall recently. In pro boxing, three hearts, one win, two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing purple trunks with some more posts, white and red. With your own New Zealand's Peter Tokyo. Tokyo. And across the red right corner, we have Terry Conti, joined by Kevin Marks and Keith Ellis Senior. Ladies and gentlemen, he's twice been junior worldwide champion of Australia. He captured the crown first in 1999 here at Fort Knox. Then again last year against Matthew Boy from Queensland. He's a pride of East Ringwood. He's a pride of the late Mick Cameron. 15 fights, 8 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw. 3 wins by knockout. Rick, number 3 lightweight in Australia behind Preston Blue and Love Monterey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Macho Man, Ray Miller Red, Stephen Mark! Mark! He's a man in charge, he measures the fighters, 10 rounds of boxing, it's a mean man in the evening. Well, Brian, this is going to be a big one. Stephen Marks, a local yeah, legend, in the red corner. Medium. And half the crowd are going to be everybody in the crowd will be here on Brian Woodley. Yeah, Stevie Marks lost his Australian title. You're freaking out here right here uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, yeah, walked into a big right hand. And uh, he's here to uh, to make amends tonight. Can Tavio do much damage? I saw Tavio, uh, as yourself did, fight uh, Lincoln Stewart. I mean, the boy can bang a bit. Uh, he reckons that Lincoln outweighed him by four kilos in that fight, so he's hoping he's a lot better prepared for this and he's hoping to do a lot better. Well, he's going to have a good head, I reckon. Marks in your seat, Dots, as Marks sunloads with lots and rights to the head of Peter Tavio. But he's a powerfully built young man, Tavio. He's coming back. Oh, Stevie Marks oh, should bank just as well, but uh, he doesn't need to stand uh, Brian in front of uh, Tavio because no, he he's, uh, he's a powerfully built young man. Oh, and left hooks and right hand by Tavio as he unleashes on Stevie Marks. Well, it's 10 3 minute rows, but they started early. They're leaving nothing left to the imagination. Peter Tavio, formerly of Samoa, currently residing in New Zealand, Auckland, New Zealand. He's certainly come here to upset the plans of Stephen Marks as he walks in low right to the body and a left hook to the head by Marks. Got beautiful hands, Brian. Yeah, they are, they are. The Marks is always fresh. Always nice to watch. He looks, uh, he looks refreshed, Stephen Marks. He, he looks a lot snappier tonight, and uh, it's good to see him up on his toes and behind the jab. He, like you said, he doesn't need to stand in front of Tavio. He's got a, he's got a good jab, Brian, and he, he just needs to use it. He should pop that jab out. Keep, keep his little up a small opponent. That's, that's a left yeah. shot yeah. from Stevie Marks. That's yeah, a left. Beautiful. Left right on the head there from Stevie Marks. And uh, that's his only mistake here. He's standing flat footed in front of Tavio. Oh, he's got a move. Oh, that hurt. The eyes of Stevie Marks are just a little glazed. Or he bangs away at Tavio. Tavio throws left and right. Tavia's a tough nut, isn't he? Oh, he is. All Stevie needs to do is pop that left knee out, move left and right, and then get in and get away. Good shots in the jaw from Mark. Very good. Very good. Very beautiful, of course. Beautiful hands, Stephen Marks. On your toes! 
and he can catch himself. Again, okay, rock tied the uh, balance a little bit with that shot. Both boys, both boys loading it freely at the moment. Good on the right there for uh, Stephen Marks. Certainly got the taller reach than uh, that Peter Tavia. Longer reach, taller man. Oh, nice right hand by Andy Marks. Certainly could be pinching of Tavia. Left and right by Marks and a nice good pick again by Marks. He's got Tavia in trouble here. And Marks is taking himself serious in this fight. Oh, yeah. very much. Stephen Marks went to, in the year 2000, August 2000, went to uh, Japan and fought the legendary Mazakazu Sakake, WBC number three. Lost in eight rounds, but has put up a tremendous effort. I was in Japan just in February. It was a terrific round for Stephen Marks. Yes, and all I asked was Stephen Marks, Stephen Marks, Stephen Marks the took the fine Japanese champion eight rounds before he put him away, and it was a terrific effort. His career has been on the rails just a little bit since then. Uh, after uh, he captured the Australian title from uh, Matthew Paul, he had a, a basically self-enforced break from the sport. Come back only to lose it to the former Olympian Fred Canubia, one of the African kings trained by Austin Taylor. As we head to the red corner to, uh, to hear uh, Stephen Marks. Had Charles Bowen uh, on the deck apparently in the second round in their uh, yeah. WBA world title. In, 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 uh, in Lovely Freer as well. well yeah. Yeah. And and I forget this left to a standing ovation standing from the home crowd there. Yeah. He, he was well, well ahead on point Stephen Marks in that fight. Uh, well, nice see that one right there, Brian. Sorry, I got that at 10 right around the marks. I just thought he'd done the throwing of shots towards the end. Uh, he came back from uh, the couple of big punches KBA was able to land midway through that round. Well, let's see what Tokyo can do now. Is, uh, Tokyo looks a very powerful man. Shocker, you know, he's a typical Samoan. He's got that powerful upper body, a lot of upper body movement, left and right, moving to the left and right. Um, and he has got good hands for a, uh, for, for a little bit of jiggle on him. For the first round, he'll only have a few good shots. He did. He did three stuff legs on him, Shocker. You know, he's got very powerful legs when you look at the Steve Marks. He's a lot taller fighter. Well, in the second round, he'll have 10 threes. International contest. Stephen Marks, a local boy. They're from New Zealand now, Peter Cadillo. And uh, everybody suspected one way traffic, but there's been some more. Later in New Zealand. Oh, that's a nice right hand by Stevie Max, just Mr. the back. Hasn't he got Shot beautiful him. hands? Oh, 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 big oh, oh, That's hurt Stevie Max. Five good punches there for Cadillo. Don't take me on these, eh? Don't mind, Max. Oh, so Stevie Max is quite Cadillo's fight at the moment. He doesn't need the fight, but he's not hurting the young Samoan. He's out of New Zealand. He's not hurting him at all. Oh, just the punches. Way. He's he's better punches. Just needs to box, just needs to stay calm, feel it, collect it, do his work, don't get carried away with it. And in the second round, nice flip hand by Stephen Marks. Good hands there from Stephen Marks. See, Stephen Marks now should be on his bike, out setting himself up for another onslaught. But what he's doing is just standing there in front of Tavio and he's making his kick in Tavio. Good shot there. Same thing as Tavio gets hit, though, the more he drops his hands. He does. Marks are going to finish here now. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think the Marshal can blast this young man out of there that quickly. All those punches, he's taken every one of them. He's got the, he looks a little unsteady on his feet, but he's yeah, he is, he's coming back. And he's got more power, as much power as Stevie, and Stevie's still in there slugging toe to toe. Stevie's just trying to blast him out. I think this is a mistake by Stevie Marks. Yeah, trying to blast Tavio out of there. I don't believe he will do it. There's a beautiful one out that hurt Tavio. Oh, and Ignatius Bissolini's has waved it away. He's got the fight in the second round. In the middle of the second round. Well, that's there. And punches by Stephen Marks has brought an end to the fight. I'll tell you what, though, he didn't need to do it that way, gentlemen, but I think he had something to prove here tonight. Yeah, I think he did too. Jim Thompson, the stars and legends, please come up. Well, he cut loose there, didn't he, uh, Stephen Marks? That was a very good effort, Peter Tovio, a very, very strong, capable opponent. As the pair embrace in centre ring, hey, Cole, he did. fine sportsmanship by Peter Tovio, formerly of Samoa, now residing in New Zealand. 
as he congratulates the uh, Ladies and gentlemen, and the center of the table, Reverend Nancy's Miss Alatus waiting to pop this up. Two minutes and nine seconds in the round two, your winner, the Macho Man, Stephen! Take away, we're going to talk to Stephen Marks, who is in this ring form tonight. Big body punches, rips and hooks. Um, He's having to win that championship for the third time. He'll find Fred Kinney and all those big guns, the North African Kings, part of the Cali Dogs, down the track maybe later this year or early next year. Good to have you in town, Brad, ABF National President. Controversial one. That's good, Brad. <laughs> the Axe for Carly, who was on Shopper Miles and Big A Butler. The squad, Wadden. Terry, you went there, the guy comes up, I'll just talk to Stephen. Back away, great support for Murray Thompson tonight. Coming up September 15th, Murray Thompson returns here to Fort Knox. Right there down in the black book. Good night, Bob. Thank you, Bob. All the team from the board. Stevie Roy. He was in fine fit of the night. A winning uh, vein. How about three cheers for Stephen Marks? Head up. Head up. Head up. Head up. Uh, he came in and you know, he didn't give you a chance so he didn't get settled. He threw some bombs with you early. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. He was red hot, but you were red hot. In that second round, you said, you turned on the gas, Stephen. It was a real Stephen Marks. Hooks, body punches, you aim to end it there and then. Well done, Stephen. Yeah, that's right, I tell you. So, Stephen, you're on. Stephen, you had the unfortunate last time you lost the national title. But down the track, would you like to challenge for the third time? Yeah, I'm definitely knocking the applicants down. I might have drawn both. Both at once? Well, that's at the most. Why? Weren't they gracious in winning last time, Stephen? I know, I gave it. You know, we're on holidays. Yeah. You were on holidays or they were? I think they were on holidays. I think they were on holidays. Stephen, you're really fired up for a rematch. Yeah, well, we're headed towards that. Give me time. Stephen Marks, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all. You can come close. That was a real Stephen Mark tonight. He was sharp, he was hot, he was focused, all those things, Terry. It was the last time Stephen Ford had been up for nine months ago. Nine months ago.